Tropical Cyclone Kenneth has been named in the Southwest Indian Ocean. This is formerly 24S and now has winds of 60 miles per hour and a pressure estimate of 994 millibars as it continues slowly at the minute towards the west. On the CDPS scale it remains a very potentially catastrophic stage 6 on the scale. The rainfall potential is very high with over 600 millimeters of rain possible for northern Mozambique towards the later part of this week. We also expect that rapid intensification may occur. It's currently at 10.5 degrees south, 47.9 degrees east. And as a reminder, stage 6 is catastrophic on the CDPS scale. Right now it's 61 miles from Cosmolido in the Seychelles, 81 miles from Glorioso Islands, 119 from Aldebra, 321 from Moroni on the Comoros Islands and 522 from Pemba in northern Mozambique. In the next 48 hours these yellow areas could be impacted by tropical storm conditions or worse in some cases. Uh, particularly the main island of the Comoros which could receive hurricane force conditions towards the end of that 48 hour period. Here's another look at the GFS model taking us through the next few days as we enter the later part of the week there and very low amounts of wind shear means that this storm could intensify rapidly and could be a major cyclone by the time it impacts the initial islands or indeed by the time it makes landfall on Mozambique or indeed both. Later on in the model run you can see it drifting towards the south uh, probably dumping a lot of rain over that region as well and then eventually if there's anything left swinging back towards the north again uh, early next week. Sea surface temperatures and general temperatures look like this. Obviously night has fallen over the region, so temperatures are down on land. Sea surface temperatures remain pretty constant, 29 or even 30 degrees Celsius where the storm is right now. So Kenneth, over the next few days, this is what the GFS shows for the wind uh, solution. Possible landfall on the main island of the Comoros there as a Category 1 and then moving into Mozambique could be a Category 1 or indeed higher by the time it reaches Mozambique. Pretty speculative on what the intensities are going to be. I would really look at it from a rainfall point of view. In northern Mozambique, southernmost Tanzania, we could be seeing massive amounts of rainfall in an area that's already been hit by tropical cyclones this season further south in the form of Idai. Here's another look, the red zone there, the highest chances of tropical storm conditions in the next five days. Uh, the oranges fading to moderate chances there uh, as you go further south. And what you can see there, the main points of concern, the border zone between Mozambique and Tanzania. This is what the models are saying. As you can see, sharp increases in intensity according to some of those models. The HWRF wants a borderline category 4. Rapid weakening as well though after it makes its landfall, if it does make a proper landfall on Mozambique. Wind shear is trending upwards slightly over the last uh, update that we did. They were a little bit lower those wind shear values. That means the storm may not be quite as strong as we were initially thinking. Uh, but we're still looking for a significant storm and you can see how it's been bursting in those last few frames on the satellite imagery. This is a 12 hour loop. You can see a massive blow up in convection, very high up convection as well. Um, really showing uh, significant intensification by the looks of things there. That's one of the reasons why we put it up to 60 miles per hour at, it, at present. That's around 105 kilometers per hour and you can see the water vapor imagery there as well. A uh, lot of moisture associated with the storm will be dumping tremendous amounts of rain over some of those islands too. We'll follow this threat over the next few days and you should too. Stay tuned. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com. You can also find our YouTube channel if you're not there already. You may well be. Good chance of that. Subscribe if you haven't. You can also find our Facebook page, search Force 13 all in text, and our Twitter handle, it's at Force 13 on there. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. Of course, you can come into direct contact with us by uh, messaging fool13 on Discord at extension 9094 and force13 on Skype. And our partners are also doing updates. Mateo, a cyclo Maurice on Facebook.